All right, Leo, what is good? It's Magic Team Magician Tarot. You know you can like, share, and subscribe below. Welcome back. We're going to do a general reading for you. Today is May 19th through the 21st <clears throat> for a 24 to 48 hour window. We're going to do a general reading, like I said, and see what's coming down the pipe for you, what kind of energies are. I wanted to say lurking, so you could have some lurkers, could have some admirers. And you could be doing a lot of work to figure out who is lurking in a positive way. And who might be, um, you know, not the most positive energy. Or, um, you know, who could be suffering from a bit of the uh, green-eyed monster. <clears throat> All right, Leo, let's get into it. Once again, you are rocking with the best. It's Magic Demon Edition Tara. Let's get into it. King Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini person on your mind. Strong, very much headstrong, uh, puffed out chest. They could be like a Nick Jonas type. They could be very, um, almost like a chihuahua. I don't want to offend Nick Jonas. I really like Nick Jonas. <laughs> but yeah, they could have a little bit of like a, um, a big dog trapped in a little body type syndrome. Mm, okay, there could be a deception there that you um, put the brakes on the connection or they could have put the brakes on the connection or the connection could have begun in a less than truthful way. Interesting. There was some misrepresentation there. Maybe you were saying you wanted something in a relationship, but then when that actually came to pass or that type of relationship came to fruition for you, you could have felt some emptiness there. Now, for the next couple days, it's looking like um, you're waiting on a message to come. You're waiting maybe for them to say something, or you could be in a stalemate situation where you don't want to say the thing that you can tell they want to hear from you. So it could be like the person is wanting more of a commitment from you, and you are not ready to give that to this person, or you're not ready to agree with them in some area of your life together or some area of your cooperation and you're just not being as forthcoming. So you're slow with your words or they're slow with their words. However, you're feeling like this is a victory possibly for protecting yourself. You could have seen some red flags in this person and then there was some sort of um, period of them wanting to convince you, wanting to get you on board, wanting you to see them in a certain way. And part of you knew that it was not going to be that, that it was a little bit of false advertising. That's what I see for you here. Okay, Leo. Now we have a seven of pentacles in the reverse, meaning things could be easier for you when they're around. They're very service minded. They're givers. I saw 300 on the clock, so they could be very much like take it all on themselves kind of person. Or you could be that person. Like you wanted to definitely Captain Save a Ho, this person. You wanted to come in and relieve their pain in some way or show them something that they had not seen before. However, when the connection came to came to like the mixing period let's see you guys actually had to figure out how to coexist tower moment is coming along for you or you're you might be the person to be like all right you know what scrap this like if you 333 was on the clock yeah this person could be 33 this person could be um somebody very mystical you could be somebody very mystical very um in tune with your heart, your chakras, in tune with your goals, you're very goal-oriented, so you're going to be the one to kind of pump the brakes on this person. The moon in the reverse, by the end of it, you're going to be feeling like you're true to yourself. By the end of the next couple days, like you said what you needed to say. I said what I said. That's kind of what you're feeling like. What is it that you want to say for this person? Four of wands in the reverse. You could be having some mixed feelings about a marriage, or you could be... Um, changing as you enter into a marriage Sue Sylvester moment where you want to almost marry yourself <laughs> that could have something to do with you like if somebody is like man I can really see myself marrying you and you're like mm, I can really see myself running the other way <laughs> okay so somebody's approaching you with the Borat marriage sack they want to throw it over your head they want you to marry them Pamela but <laughs> you're like no could be a cancer for sure um yeah or an Aquarius. Okay, that's interesting. So it could be an Aquarius that has some aspects of a Cancer in that when they get rejected, they act really wrong. 
or you could be dealing with somebody who was very cold towards you and then the second you started to show a similar face or show that you really weren't that hurt by it they are gonna start to act a little bit crazy so a little bit of a word of warning with the tower here and um over you the lion the strength card here and over you have okay hold on queen of cups is in the mix so a person who is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be heavily on your mind. You could miss this person, could have had a relationship with them that ended suddenly. Or could have had a relationship that got too emotional too quickly for you. Or you're now in a relationship, in a marriage with a water sign. And still kind of having to deal with some of the baggage and some of the realizations that happened um, before you were able to accept this person's love, before you were able to accept this person's love. If that means anything to you, you're having trouble accepting love. Five, 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 five. 15, somebody you could have known since you were 15 or um, 15 years you know this person. Well, that's a long time ago. Okay. Ten of Swords. Um, Part of you maybe wants to cut this person out or cut this relationship out because you feel like they're it. there's been such a slog, perhaps, with the Ten of Swords. This person has made you suffer in ways that you maybe have not relayed back to them. Yeah, the lovers in the reverse. If there was a Gemini in the mix and an, or an Aquarius, Libra, somebody seems to be kind of in the way of your happiness or somebody's brashness somebody's playerish ways were getting in the way of your happiness or you overly logical you. I don't want to say got in the way of your own happiness. Stood up for your own happiness. And maybe you gave somebody a taste of their own medicine and that was difficult for you to bounce back from because you're really wanting to take the high road and not wanting to be a person that doles out justice and doles out karma to others because... You just don't feel like that's correct for you. And I applaud you. If that is where you're at right now, Leo, that's great. Turning the other cheek or, or having to be more mature when somebody who's claiming to be really mature, who's claiming to be really logical, starts acting very childish. Childishness is important here. If you're thinking of somebody who you could define as childish or who's tried to hurt you in the past with childish lashing out. Or somebody who treated you as a child. Then that could figure heavily here. And if you're thinking of a Gemini, they are messing with another air sign. Libra Aquarius. Also even another Gemini. They're very much in their narcissistic uh, tendencies. They want somebody to mirror them exactly. That wasn't you. They wanted somebody to uh, battle with fight with that's no longer you interesting now why do we have the four of wands in the reverse so let's, before we come back to the osho let's figure out what's the four of wands in the reverse what's the moon in the reverse and what's the tower okay top card wanted to be seen the hermit you are being uncompromising with your own growth and with your own spiritual conviction and that's really good What does that have to do with our four of wands? Two cards want to come out. Okay, the empress and the nine of coins. Being single has started to wear on you. You could be feeling that there could be something wrong with you. Even though, like, logically you know that some of these matches were not matches. And I'm feeling like there are definitely some multiple people that were starts, stops and starts. And different versions of you were with those people. 911 was on the clock, so you could have had a life changing event, a traumatizing event that involves calling the police or involves the police, and you are. It gave you a foresight. It gave you a jaded nature that you don't really like, but you do know that it does help you. Okay, well, why the Empress? The Emperor, oh yeah. There's somebody possibly who you do want to have a marriage or a relationship or a spiritual connection with. It feels the same way. Now let's see. 
or you're growing up. If you are happy in your relationship and your marriage and you and your person are growing up, but you could be a little bit more mature than your person. Ooh, innocence and others. Yeah. Something killed your innocence. I love this little mantis. I love the cherry blossoms. I love the mantis. I love it. You're connecting with nature. You're connecting with your spirituality. But in a new way now. In a way that is hurt. You're really healing your past hurts. Moment to moment is difficult for you. Because you're caught up in the past and the future. Happening all at the same time. You could have had an experience recently where your timelines kind of like collapsed into one. Your past, your present, and your future. You're seeing it all very, very clearly and you're very much in control. But there's a loneliness there because other people aren't quite on your level. Transformation, wow. Awakening, the miser. You're being very stingy with your time, your emotion, flowering in the reverse. You're not letting people inside in the fertile and grassy. And when I say grassy, I mean like, do you remember when you were a child you could just run through the grass, even the high grass, and just roll around the grass, no concern for your hair, no concern for the brambles, no concern for ticks, no concern for, you know, germs, anything like that. And now, as you're older, you don't have that same green. Green could figure strongly for you here. If you need, you need to maybe start wearing more green. Experience tree hugging. I love this. <clears throat> You're sort of looking forward to the fall because the summer, you know, is going to be like really crazy. And there's a part of you that enjoys when the leaves start to fall and when. Also, campfire could be important for you, like when the sun starts to go down. If you look very, very closely here, you can see this person has a blanket or a like a big, um, like a robe over them. But in, inside, they have like... This multicolor fabric. See that? It's you. So you could be shrouding yourself in nature, shrouding yourself in camouflage. You're camouflaged right now. You don't want people to see you. Maybe you feel like an imposter as success has come to you and as more people have come around you, you start to feel more lonely instead of more social. And that is why you're heart guarding like your heart, your flower, your greenness. Like the baby part of you. You don't want anyone to baby you. Whoa. Okay. Somebody could have called you baby recently and um, you either liked it too much or didn't like it coming from them. And you're confused whether you want someone to baby you or not. Page of Pentacles. You could also be judging people harshly based on what they're able to give you financially or you're sort of uh, you yourself feel like you can't give people what they truly want because you only have so much time or you only have so much faith or you only have so much to invest based on your past experiences, your jadedness, and some of the past hurt. Now, why do we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse down here? Oh, yeah. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Because you're, you're putting your money aside, you have a secret stash. You have a secret stash of either time, money, or love, and you're looking for someone to give it to, and you I'm that person right now. I thought it was that person. Ooh, 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 Leo. Ooh, my God. The fool. Yeah, you're starting to like maybe, <laughs> maybe be turned off by people that are too much like you, and you're looking for somebody that will bring that innocence back into your life. Somebody that makes you laugh. Somebody that makes you think of when you think about past times and good times that you could have had with this person that's the person that you need to talk to about all these different things so let's say you are in a relationship and you're in a happy relationship you're in a relationship with somebody who is good and kind but there's something about their um, worldview that's a little bit limited or there's something about your own worldview that makes you limited toward them so that's where you have to take that a little bit of initiative, a little bit of softness, and just be like, can I talk to you about something weird? Or can I talk to you about something I feel? And it's going to maybe be weird for some people to take you seriously in that way, or it's, it's weird for you to take yourself seriously as like a cleansed soul, but with a history. So you're coming to terms with your history. 
but something there's a call of the wild like the grass the grass is calling you back like somebody that you rolled around in the grass with or somebody that you do want to roll around in the grass with or somebody that you makes you feel like a puppy like a dog like a kitten like somebody that is somebody that babies you you do need that baby now let's say you're gonna you're expecting a child that could be really awesome and exciting for you but your life experience has made you more scared than excited and you're reckoning with that because you don't want to put that negative vibe on this new life this new relationship whatever the case may be even this new job so you're really trying to regain that and i applaud you for that leo and it looks like things are definitely going to go your way let's do one more linda goodman star cards just to get a little bit of advice and um you know what no we're gonna do the sacred travel oracle because you need some traveling advice Leo, I want to thank y'all if you stuck around for this video. Let me know in the comments if you are a returning subscriber, if you're a newbie, if you liked your reading. Um, if you liked your reading, please tip. If you do not like your reading, please tip. <laughs> Tips can figure strongly for you. You could be somebody that works with people. And your humor is going to get you out of your slump. And you need to be around people that at first make you feel raw but you need that that's going to be your signal if a person knows you too well makes you feel raw that might be your signal oh believe in magic is in the reverse okay interesting just a killer and impasse in the reverse yeah don't rely too much on the rocks the crystals the salves the medicine the drugs the money the material things don't rely too much on those things to magically heal you you do have to feel the sadness you do have to feel the lessons of the of the relationship and you do have to feel the loneliness that comes with awakening and you can't there's no way around that you got to go through it and pass in the reverse reflect and redirect your energy you cannot do that at this point that's what it's saying healing energy flows through you in reverse it cannot flow through you if you have an obstruction okay now i was going to throw this one upside down again but i got here overcoming obstacles and we got a sword and a stone however this is giving me James and the Giant Peach. Look at that. That is a peach. And it's mushy and it's soft. And the only way from inside that peach is to eat your way out. <laughs> Magic Team Edition Tara, like, share, and subscribe below. Let me know if anything resonates with you by leaving me a comment. Deuces.